and the permit included the the fees for the uh, for the inspections for the drain and the electrical inspections and the framing inspections. And the permit was a whole one hundred and twenty dollars. Go ahead. Oh my, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> That would take a while here in New Jersey to get through and, and cost a lot more money. Huh, how about that? What's the, um, like a little format, say if I got something that was like, uh, I don't need a lot of, a huge house, 1,500, 1,800 square feet, uh, that far, and that'd be great. Maybe uh, three, five acres, what's an average place go? Depending on, depending on the condition of the house, uh, you would probably be up in the 350 to 375, 380 range. All right, not too bad, not too bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, and the taxes are lower. That sounds really nice. Uh, do you get do you get a lot of tornadoes? Actually, no. Uh, I've lived here since 2005, and we had one small one an EF-1 that came through part of town and did some minimal damage. We will occasionally get straight-line winds. In fact, we had some friends uh, a month or two ago when they lost some barns or some barn roofs uh, from the straight-line winds. Um, but no, we're not... Uh, actually, this part of northern Indiana is actually better than southern Indiana. Southern Indiana gets more Kentucky, Tennessee weather and more tornadoes. They also get more ice, like in the winter. Um, but if you get into northern Indiana, we get more snow. And we're kind of in a sweet spot here. Um, if you go into Michigan, you know, you're between all the Great Lakes. And so Michigan is always cloudy. Because what happens is Lake Michigan is 333 miles long and 45 miles wide. And the revealing winds blow out of the west or northwest. So... If you're on the west side of Lake Michigan, like Chicago or Milwaukee or Minneapolis, it, it could be quite colder. It could be, you know, 10, 15 degrees colder. And, and then it blows across the water, and the deep water, of course, is at Earth's temperature 55 degrees, and the surface water is usually in the 40s. And so it blows across, you know, 50 miles of water and picks up a lot of precip precipitation, but it also picks up a lot of warmth. And so when you get to Michigan, the, the temperatures will be much milder. But if you're in that first 60 miles on the east side of the lake, you get the snow dumped on you. So South Bend, Indiana, which is kind of like uh, Crown Point, which is kind of like on the southeast side of Lake Michigan, or if you were in Muskegon or Allegan or, or uh, those areas on the west eastern shore of Lake Michigan, you, you'll, get the, uh, you'll be in the snow belt. But I'm just south of US 30 and far enough east that the snow peters out. So we get the warmer weather and the sunny skies, but we don't get the snow. Go ahead. Oh my, that sounds good. It's amazing how, uh, what a lake can do, especially something that's, that's like the usual lake, but just, uh, what, what that can cause weather wise. And, uh, interesting, you're just out of it. Very interesting. Yeah, it, it's interesting because if you go up, if you go 50 miles north of me and you're in southern Michigan at the border, about 50, 60 miles, uh, our spring actually comes down here about two weeks earlier, and uh, we get a lot, lot more sunshine. Um, you know, because they're between the lakes, I mean, like November up there for March will be quite gloomy. Uh, but down here it's often sunny, so you can you can drive that 60 miles and you just see the sun appear. So we don't really get a lot of severe weather uh, winter-wise. Um, you know we don't get the you know the 10, 20 belows like you get in Chicago. We'll get a few zero days. You know once in a blue moon, you know we'll get 10 below. But I say maybe it's three days of winter. Um, and snow-wise, uh, we don't get hit with huge amounts of snow. We'll get, oh, last year was a very warm winter, and we didn't get hardly anything. Uh, in fact, I didn't even, I, I put the snow blade on the tractor. I never used it the whole winter long. Um, but there'll be occasional winters in which we get, I'd say, three or four five-inch snows. But most of the snows are two to three inches, so... 
it's really not a bad climate. Uh, November 2, Yankee Mike Sierra, Whiskey 9, Echo, Echo, Echo. Whiskey 9, Echo, 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 I love that call. November 2, Yankee Mike Sierra, very good, yeah. That, that's really fascinating. It's just amazing how uh, a, few, a few miles one way, a few miles another way, and, and the weather changes. Uh, it's not that drastic in New Jersey here. It's pretty much between PA, New Jersey, and Delaware, all around this area. It stays about the same. You have to go up in the Poconos for the change, or all the way down the shore, and uh, but it's pretty much the same. But it's not bad living here. It's, it's I, you know, I grew up here. It's not bad. I've been to all parts, different parts of the country, and uh, you know, I think it might be just time for a change. Just kind of like uh, it's getting old. But um, the interesting, like I said, to get some. The most I ever had was like the acre and a half I had, and that was it. But uh, I, you know, I wouldn't be far fetched pressed to ten acres would be great. My buddy has in PA has uh, 15 acres, and that's pretty nice. Pretty nice piece of property. But um, yeah, I've heard good things. Uh, Indiana, I've definitely heard some good things before, and uh, and it's quite interesting where you live. And I would love to, I might just take a trip out there. Well, if you do, write me a letter and I'll, I'll show you around. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's a different philosophy, I tell people, uh, because Indiana does believe in small government and, and efficient government. And for the most part, it actually works pretty well. Uh, <laughs> I tell people, if you go into the BMV, uh, there in New Jersey. How long does it take you to get waited on? Oh, it could be a lifetime, uh, <laughs> depending on which one you're going in and what you're going for. If you're lucky, like I think I had, I bought a motorcycle, and I had to go to a, a different DMV, which was smaller, and there was hardly anybody in there, which is unusual, and I was able to get in and out, but uh, another time I went to DMV, I mean, it was like hours and hours. I was there like four or five hours. Yeah, do you know what the goal is here for customer service? Uh, you're gonna, I know you're going to surprise me. Go ahead. 95% of you will be waited on within five minutes. Yeah, that's, that's unheard of. If I, had a house in, if I had a house in Florida, I just sold it in the um, second house in Jacksonville on Beach Boulevard. We weren't too far from the beaches, but out of the red zone and... Uh, uh, I had to go to the DMV there, and they were pretty good. Like, I think I was only in there like uh, 45 minutes, uh, which I thought was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, occasionally uh, you'll get a crowd. They can't beat that. But for the most part, um, you know, for most of the stuff here, you can you can walk into many areas and get pretty good service and not spend an inordinate an amount of time. And, and the fees here to get stuff done don't tend to be don't tend to be super high either. So uh, that's one of the, I lived in Michigan and, you know, it was, uh, it was, it was, you know, closer to New York or New Jersey experience than, than down here. And uh, that's because they try to make it that way here. They try to, they try to keep things uh, simpler. Go ahead. Yeah, that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Hey, I'm curious. Um, you didn't mention any, do you do any, um, like two meter side band, uh, uh, strategy, anything like that? Do you have anything set up for that? No, not anymore. Because years ago, I used to have a uh, Yesu FT767, and that had just 10 watts on it. But it had the all mode module. But unfortunately, a lightning strike got that, and after that, I pretty much gave it up. But uh, I do have a J pole up, phase J pole for 440 and two meters, and that's on a another tower and the bottom of that's up at about 66 feet and the top's up probably 75 or 76 feet but i used to i still have it in my barn i didn't put it back up i i, I have a 19 element beam with a 25 foot boom and i used to have that puppy at 88 feet with uh ssb mass mounted preamps and so even on uh even on fm simplex i had about a 65 mile radius uh, so, so I could cover everything within 130 miles. Go ahead. Yeah, QSL, QSL. Did you ever work uh, two-meter sideband? Did you ever work uh, Jersey or? Uh
आणि 